Megan's finally allowed me to re-enter her vlog. <laughs> we were on our walk this morning and we said to each other, I don't think you've been in the vlogs for about three weeks. I don't know where you've been. Well, we've been all over the shop. You've been on my stag, you've been on your head. And I had, yeah, I don't know why, it, why it's been all. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, I was, I've been begging for weeks and she was like, no. <laughs> I like vlogging together. Ruined, like, no, you ruined my box. <laughs> anyway, hi guys. Welcome to a new video. We are currently sat on the train on our way to a very exciting fitting, aren't we? I literally landed back from my hen last night. That's why the throat is down. Yeah, it was last night. Yeah, yeah it was last night. Crazy. I am feeling quite quite tired, but I couldn't miss today. Some people, I think, would find it weird that I'm going. But Bryce said to me, it's not weird. I think it's really nice you're going. Yeah. Because well, it's not a secret, like the, the dress. Uh, yeah, exactly. Well, I'm going to, yeah, well, I mean, I'm going to post on Instagram first, so it's not going to be a secret. Are you really? Are you going to post it? Yeah, I'm doing a real, Oh, you're doing a real, are you? I'm anyway, I'm we're going to... to... I'm going to my content on my page. There's going to be loads of reels coming on my page over the wedding. And then the I'll probably just go silent again. Yeah, and the, and the and elephants. The elephant, the and elephants. The I'll tell you what is weird carrying this around with you everywhere. I, I took that you know, to uh, Marbella. Water bottles are popular because they can't spill things, that's why. It made sense. it to Marbella and back. It went through a Hindu. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone was jealous of it at the end of nights. So they were like, Annie said, she, she, was, she was like, I don't want to drink out of a glass. I want to drink out of that. And that's I was like, Annie, you can't. It's my, do you know how she's just trying to steal all of my food and my drinks? Every time I have yeah, something. Like is it? Well, it steals all my food. food. <laughs> yeah. Everything that I have, and he's like, your food looks nicer than mine. I'll have that. What's the attraction with I don't know. It's like a sippy cup. They're just Lots. better. I haven't seen it to supper. <laughs> There's literally a man sat this way watching <laughs> this weird conversation. Anyway, we are off to Niall's wedding suit fitting, and this is the first time he's ever seen it and we've ever seen it made right isn't it yeah, no, yeah last I've time, seen it at all. last time we went there we were like picking materials picking and measurements materials it's made it's been ages isn't it i'm just a bit nervous because i lost a little bit of weight so i'm just nervous it's going to be too big yeah but that's why you go now and then they tailor it exactly to how your yeah. body shape is right now Carl, carl's losing so much weight he was like nah mate i'm not doing it for you like his, his body shape will change too much i'm just worried about my feet it might actually be a bit oh yeah because he was going to get it from this guy wasn't it yeah. but he's not that well because he's not carl's losing so much weight his body's changed so much do you know what some people said in one of my vlogs recently they were like carl they were like wow carl looks amazing yeah, yeah. It's, it's more noticeable when you don't see someone you see him after like, a couple of weeks or yeah of i guess we see him all the time he's been feeling young wild and free and fabulous yeah that's but exactly yeah. what he said to me yesterday <laughs> young wild and free and fabulous especially the fabulous <laughs> <laughs> anyway we're gonna go to the wedding suit fitting and um i'm excited to see niall might get emotional <laughs> You're not gonna get it. <laughs> um, also, I have to show you these earrings because I think they're so cool. Have you seen these earrings? Oh yeah, I showed you them last night, didn't I? Look how cute. I do. Do I? <laughs> What's that going on the other hand? Do I? Do you? I do. Do I? <laughs> so your thing moves around a bit. Yeah. That's weird. No, it's not because it doesn't come over the knuckle. I've got weird things. Yeah, Niall put his wedding ring on last night and it just full on just came straight off. It was off. an adjusted, so it's a smaller size than the original. I sent it off, came back to a smaller size and then it felt fine in the shop. I got home, obviously my hands are getting hot and cold, but it felt it, like but it was going to fall off. It was full on. And then off. I went to the gym and came back and it's like, there's no way it was going to fall off. But I feel like I've got really like, fleshy fat parts of this finger and I feel yeah, like it fluctuates more than the But then you person. went for a walk and came back and it fit. <laughs> yeah, I swear it's great. I don't know how your fingers could fluctuate quite that much. Like literally, it was just sliding and then suddenly it was like dead tight, his skin was bulging around it. You've got really, <laughs> you've got really weird fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, one, grand reveal. James Bond in the building. Give us a pout. Give us a twirl. <laughs>
that colour looks so nice on. Yeah. The Paxosians. <laughs> I thought that's what you were going to say. <laughs> and when you're feeling a bit fruity later on, whack off the jacket and the shirt. Keep the shaved chest out under the waistcoat. <laughs> Very suave. Very James Bond. You need to do this. <laughs> Ready, three, two, one. Spin in the air. This will be you at midnight dancing to Dancing Queen in the Our oh, Mamma Mia hour. <laughs> <laughs> Come here! Oh, oh, he's oh. Made fun of me. Come here. I miss you. Come here. Hi! <laughs> oh, I miss you. <laughs> oh, he had to try a suit on, didn't he? Oh, am I going to have a wedding with no suit, eh? <laughs> you understand, Basil, you're a man. Sort of. Tonight. Tonight. Guys, who has started watching Love Island? I have and I don't like it yet. <laughs> I know, I hate the beginning bit when you don't know them because I feel like, I don't know, it's just not, not a vibe, is it, Baz? Baz <laughs> Yay! And by the end, they were hilarious, yeah. And that's why you never judge a book by its cover. It's all about the editing. It's all about, I was going to say, it's all about the energy. It's not all about the editing. It's like whatever narrative they want to make, isn't it? Yeah, that's true, actually. But you sound like such a grand dad. No, it's true. I'm not about the narrative. No, this is, I think, I'm not trying to be grumpy, but I just find it interesting how these things are made. No, no, I know. But it's still, it's just, that is a bit of a granddaddy thing to say. I'm getting married. Getting old. You're getting old. Anyway, we're home, just. We had a great time, didn't we? Yeah, it's fun. Actually. Did you enjoy trying on your suit? We didn't discuss it. Yeah. You looked that. suave. Yeah. And snazz, but he needs to have it fitted a bit tighter to him. He's lost a bit of um, weight on the old waist, haven't you? Yeah. All of your um, gymming. The shoulders are still there, though, he said, didn't he? He <laughs> said the shoulders are fitting perfectly, so. Lost nothing on the old. <laughs> Carry on. <Delta. laughs> you looked like you got shy then. You were like, on the old. <laughs> anyway, we're home and we've got Love Island on. We're cooking some chicken kale and rice with sriracha, which is our favourite. Annie makes fun of me. I'm mean, actually, I am going to FaceTime Annie when um, when it's made. She makes fun of me because she knows that it's my favourite. I'm thinking about like, putting filming this for the goodbye. So. She's like, she's Do you know what though? She's never tried it, oh, so she can't judge. We, I mean, we we actually should make it for her. We should invite her, her, her and Elliot around. Just make sure you get her. We'll sit down at the table <laughs> and get them to bring it. I am gonna Facetime her when um, when it's made. But I just wanted to show you because we did pop into Zara because there was a Zara right next to the soup shop, and um, we thought we'd have a little look for wedding trip, didn't we? And do you know what? All of my stuff is white. <laughs> I feel like everything I'm wearing for the month of June is just white because, I'm like because the, of the bridal. Beige, I'm liking the beigey neutral colours that are in this well. Are you? Is that every year? Or is that it is year? usually most years. But, no, but ASOS had a neutral whole little section, so I thought, well, it must be... I think a lot, a lot of years. So they do that every year. Though. They do, but I do. To be fair, I think there's a lot of like that cream is. linen in for men this year because Fab wore yeah, loads of it when yeah, we were on the head. That's everywhere I go. It's... He looked really good though, and most of the time when I was like, "Where's it from?" He was like, "Free mark." Oh, really? Yeah. So you need to go. Yeah. Anyway, I just thought I'd show you some of the bits that I picked up. I only basically I picked up a little airport outfit for the trip to Paxos, which is the Greek island we're getting married on. And um, I wanted to get something like this for the hen do, but I couldn't find anywhere that did a nice pair. But if you go into Zara at the moment, they have the nicest, I'm going to show you these on now because they're really flattering as well. But they're so comfortable and soft, extremely stretchy. Um, but I couldn't believe how nice they look because sometimes... They look fit you, didn't they? No, they, no look, look at the stretch on them. I'm going to put them on and show you. And I got this little... Um, crop top to go with it, which I thought would be cute little there. Wow, they're on the way to my wedding. <laughs> I'll show you that. Okay, so, 
Don't you think these are really flattering, little white shorts, that? They're really cute. Look at them. Yeah, nice. They're nice. And they're so soft. <laughs> you can't really see off. But they had them in loads of different colours. I almost got the kind of like bright apple green. But I just wasn't sure how much I'd wear them. They look like pink. If you had a little cap on, you'd look like a little girl. It's cute. No, you and put on like chunky it. white trainers yeah. and then do like a messy bun, sunglasses. I feel like I'm really rinsing really the white outfits now, look. I don't <laughs> think I'm going to wear white the whole time when we're away. Yeah, because I did that on the hen. But it is in. <laughs> but yeah, no, I think they're really, really nice. So they were only £12. And then this little crop top. I really like the shape of it. Um, and I also picked up this little crop top as well which goes really nicely with it too. And actually this one, I wanna show you this on because this with baggy jeans is so nice. It's like a white denim, but it's just a really nice cut the way it like sits on your tummy. Okay, so this is the little top. What do you think? Yeah. Nice, isn't it? Corset that is. Yeah, it's a corset, but it's not like, it's a really stretchy one, which is nice. And it's denim, which usually isn't stretchy. But I feel like it'll look really nice with like, even my cargoes, they'd look really nice with for something a little bit understated, but I thought it was nice. And then also I picked up these gorgeous pink heels. Do you know what? I've had my eye on these similar ones that they did last year and they sold out because I feel like these will look so nice with like plain outfits. And I just love love a bite heel and I thought this pink was really really nice. So considering I have a lot of white dresses and white clothes <laughs> the bridal theme I feel like it would be nice to snazz up the foot with a bright colour. I think Niall might do a little fashion show as well so I will show you when I think he's gone to get, I think he's gone to get, to get some bits to style everything with. So you coming to watch the show? Come on then. Dad's going to give us a fashion show. <laughs> She's ready now. Are you ready? Come on then, Baz. Come join. We're going to watch. <laughs> actually, <laughs> you're an audience. We're ready. Oh, look at that bod. Show us the bod. Look at that. Go on, give us a tense. Blimey, look. look at the muscle on you, eh? He's going to have to shave that. <laughs> Don't pretend to be bashful. Apparently, Niall has to shave his chest. Yeah, for the know. wedding, his yeah. suit man said. No, no, he said it might show for his shirt. Yeah, he, he, he getting, recommended getting, no, the I'm shaving of the chest. Anyway. Oh, you're not. Anyway because... Niall, Niall hasn't shaved his chest since he was 18 when I first met him. You used to have a stub. I'm not sure about the stubbly so, uh, chest. It's all like full circle, isn't it? Full cycle. Yeah, it's full circle. <laughs> Guys, do, do you like a shaved chest? Is it normal for boys to shave their chest? Is that a normal thing, Blue? Blue Bell's not sure. She just, she just went. <laughs> Look at you, like, excuse me. Don't you give me that side eye, you rude girl. Oh, Blue, he's being mean to you, isn't he? Calling you hairy. I literally called Blue Bell a rug the other day. Didn't you? Carl calls her a blob and Niall calls her a rug. No wonder you're a mummy's girl. <laughs> she probably was hating it when I was away. Mum, come home. Apparently she waited by the door every night. Uh, well, every day. Uh, well, she, every, door, every time someone came to the door, she yeah, got she excited, excited thinking it was me. Basically oh, anything that happened, she was like, mummy, mummy. Oh. Like a little knock or like a little bang. Mummy. Oh, blue. She see the blonde woman on the street. Mummy. Oh. Hey, <laughs> you're mummy's girl. Aren't Do you know you? though? When we're on walk, sometimes when there is a man with dark hair, she does think it's you. No. She's so cute, and she gets really. Ex she stops and pauses and stares. She's they're, like, they're the most happy when he was mummy and daddy at home. Oh look! Nice you're such a little angel girl. You know we're talking about you. Good girl. Right, blue outfit number one. What are we thinking? We got to rate this out of ten. She's looking. She's looking. Oh, give us oh look at you and your neutrals. See what I mean about neutrals? <laughs> I'm, bring, I'm bringing them in. Maybe. No, I, I like the trousers. I feel like I'm not sure about them together, but I, I, separately I like them. 
Do I say Kim Blue? I can't actually see. She's proper watching you. Should we give it a seven? This shirt, when I saw it in the shop, was over a white t-shirt. Miles, she's watching you like a hawk. Huh? Look, she's turning around to look at you that side. Hello. Oh. Laughs better. Open when shirt. I saw it on the mannequin, this is what. Is that how you pick your outfits? Actually, is a lot by how you pick your outfits, isn't it? Yeah, because I'm not very good at like matching things. I'm not like those, so I just get the. No, that's why they do it. Yeah, exactly. Smashed it. Oh, he's looking at your outfit. Oh, he likes it. He's like smashed it, Dad. That's my fave. <laughs> Right, let's see. This is this is Niall's toweling top, isn't it? Towels are also very in the summer. Toweling, toweling. Love it, love a stripe, looking snazz. Yeah, it looks lovely. Yeah, I like that one. What's his tail doing? What's your tail doing? What's this doing? <laughs> oh, I can't see all this is too much dog spam. Sorry, guys. Okay, final outfit of the day. We've gone Greek chic. I don't know about the shorts with this, right? Greek chic, hun. Yeah. The shirt, the shirt. Do you know what? I actually think denim shorts would be quite nice with that. I think open, though. Keep yes, it open. Okay. Get your glasses on. Right. Get some open toe sandals. Yacht vibes. <laughs> yacht. Yacht. No, you don't want to be. You don't want to be a yacht man. <laughs> no, I like it. I like all the neutral. I'm a yacht guy, but it's definitely She buys it at Blue. And I'm ready to party. No, I'm not ready. <laughs> oh, I missed my head and do. That saying we probably said about five times a day. <laughs> anyway, hello guys, good morning. It is now the next day, and I have just got myself ready because I am heading to London soon. I think I will bring you and I'll update you on what we're doing today. But first, I need to actually eat my breakfast because I'm starving. I have actually already been to the gym this morning, filmed it, gonna pop it in. very good back day and actually it was a good job that I did it today because I am getting a jab today in my arm so I feel like it's not the COVID jab <laughs> but I am getting the jab a jab in my arm and um I feel like tomorrow I might have an achy arm I don't know but I did back and I also started with that cardio um treadmill session which I am absolutely loving it was in day no it was in week one of the beyond glow guide which i'm still doing absolutely loving it it's the guide that's kind of like the wedding countdown guide slash feeling your best for summer guide for people who aren't bright <laughs> and i'm really really loving it but we had this treadmill session in week one and it has cropped up in a few of the later weeks but it, it gradually gets more difficult with the way I've written it, but it's so good. I love it so much and I'm doing it kind of like four times a week at the moment. I much prefer it to just sprinting alone because it has sprints within it, but because you change from like jogging to high incline walk to sprints and then back to incline walk, then back to jogging, I feel like I don't get as bored and like it doesn't feel like you're about to get on a treadmill and sprint for 10 minutes, if you know what I mean. So I feel like the time passes more quicker. But anyway, <laughs> it was a good session and I'm glad I slotted that in before I head to London. But this morning I wanted to show you and share some of the things that I've picked up over the past kind of two years really ready for the wedding day because I'm kind of gathering everything up now because the wedding is so soon and we are flying out for the wedding in about 10 days. I, can't, I, I just... I just feel like I'm living in a dreamland at the moment. <laughs> I can't believe this like period is here in life because obviously 
because it was postponed, it was all supposed to be last year. It just, it feels crazy. Um, and I feel like I'm going to say that a lot over the next vlog or two. I'm just in a very excited, excited, exciting bubble. <laughs> and I really just want to soak it up and be excited and enjoy it and not feel like I can't say I'm excited all the time. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to show you some bits that I have picked up and I'm really excited to share. And just some things that I've got for the wedding day that maybe if any other people who are getting married want some kind of inspo of some different things that they could get for their wedding day, um, maybe, yeah, it will give you some ideas. Also, my throat is really just not there so i sound really husky <laughs> um i think it's because i was just obviously socializing with all my friends for quite a few days over the hen and i'm still catching up on sleep so bear with me in my throat I'm, i think i'm gonna eat this first so that i'm all fueled up <laughs> with my overnight oats my favorite and then we'll start going through some fun things that are weddingy i'll do that okay so little wedding haul. First up, I want to show you my sandals that I I don't know actually, have I shown you these like two years ago? Because I've had them for a while. <laughs> but basically I got some little very cute sandals for kind of later in the evening of the wedding when my feet start to hurt from my heels and I want to just go a bit chilled. And I also think I'll wear these on the day after the wedding because we're having a pool party. I think I just think that I, I mean I'll wear them all the time but I think I'm gonna wait till the wedding day to actually wear them for the first time so they're fresh but how cute are these so these are some little Sophia Webster butterfly sandals I just think they are absolutely gorgeous and I love that they're baby blue but also is that the right way around for you I'm not sure but they say wifey for lifey on the soul I mean I just I'm obsessed with Sophia Webster I just think it is such a cool brand and it is it revolves around butterflies <laughs> so it's right up my street but I've literally had these for forever and I've been so tempted to wear them but I'm like no I want them to be fresh on the wedding day and then they'll be so good on my honeymoon as well I'm just so excited to wear them. Do you know what as well I feel like I might take some converse because if I fancy like looking I don't know a bit sort of preppy in the evening I could even swap to them as well. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep swapping shoes. Also, booby tape. Booby 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 tape is definitely coming with me to the wedding because my wedding dress needs it. <laughs> Little hint hint. But um actually I'm not gonna take this boob tape. So I took this boob tape with me to my hen do and it's not the double-sided one, so I had to like go like this and then go back on it to put on the side so that I didn't get the side boob. Um, but so I've ordered myself from Amazon some double-sided booby tape, which will be good. So we've got booby tape, just another really handy thing as well if you're a bride <laughs> and you need booby tape. Guys, I have my wedding ring. I don't think I've showed you the wedding ring yet. I took, I took my vlog when I was picking it and then I had it custom made to match my engagement ring because I wanted it to have the pale green gemstones like my engagement ring does. And they also needed to design it so that it went underneath my engagement ring, ni ring nicely because it wouldn't sit naturally under it. And I've got it. I've had it for a while, but I still haven't shown you, but I feel like now is the time to show you the wedding ring. Um, so I got it from a brand called Fenton, which is an amazing brand I think they're London based and they're a very small business but they sustainably source their gemstones and they just have the most incredible gemstones. I'm so excited to wear this, I can't believe I'm going to start wearing this as well as my engagement ring permanently. I'm going to be a wife in like 10 days guys, a wife. I don't know if you'll get the full effect on camera but this is my wedding ring. It's not gonna focus, is it? But you can't really tell, but it's like a very pale green gemstone all the way around. I'm just in love with it and it looks amazing. Is it bad luck to put it on before? Somebody told me that. 
I can't remember who told me that, but I just want to show you how it's going to sit. I do need to give my engagement ring a little bit of a clean, so ignore that. <laughs> but if you can see, it just sits under it perfectly. And it's just so pretty. Look at it. Oh, I just love it. I can't wait to start wearing it. Like, let, I'm going to take it off because I'm worried that <laughs> I'm just giving myself bad luck. Who looks after that on the day? We were talking about this the other day. It's Carl, isn't it? The best man. He also has the bride's ring, not just the groom's, right? I can't remember. I'm also actually going to take out some Polaroid cameras. These little Instax ones. And this baby blue colour, which are very cute so we're gonna have i think two just scattered on the table at the reception and then what we're gonna do is um all of the ones that people take we're gonna hang around the tree so we're gonna have kind of like little peg fairy lights around the olive trees so that people can just add them as they take them and then i'll keep them which will be lovely which i just thought was a really nice idea we also have what else should i show you my wedding pajamas <laughs> so these are from Nadine Merabi. They're a very special, special pair. Bit sort of snazzy as well. So I think what I'm going to do is wear these the morning of the wedding while I'm getting ready. And basically they've got the button, button up, which I think is the best thing to do because if you don't have buttons, then you might like ruin your makeup and your hair when you take them off. And the trousers have the little <laughs> feather on the end. It's the wedding day. We're gonna go nice and bouge. I also actually have a bikini that I ordered from House of CD because we're having this pool party the day after the wedding. I haven't tried this on yet, so I might actually try this on with you. But I just really, I couldn't decide what I wanted to wear. Like my friends were saying to me, why don't you wear like a cool kind of white swimsuit that's sparkly and just really out there. But there's something about <laughs> like, bougie swimsuits that remind me of like no offense towie <laughs> i just don't know if i want and also because of the tan lines i'm kind of like i'm gonna be out sort of all day in the sun and i think if like i've got sort of a cut out swimsuit or something the tan lines will be a bit dodge but <laughs> i feel like it's hard to find like a really nice sophisticated but special swimsuit so yeah, I'm not sure if I'm going to do that. But I saw this on House of CB and I thought it was really lovely. It's this like ruffly sort of off-white. It does, you can't really see the, the tone of it. But it's like an off-white colour. And I just thought it looks really kind of expensive. It's not too bad in price. Oh, which is the front? <laughs> That's the front. We'll try that one in a second, actually, and see. And then we also have some really cute little necklaces that are from a brand called Alula Collections. They're very in the vibe of the little necklaces the girls got for the hen, actually. Well, they're basically exactly the same vibe <laughs> with these little beads. I'm loving these kind of really 90s, they're, they're quite sort of young looking necklaces where you've got like the letters, but we've got some little bridesmaids ones for the girls. And then I've also got one for bride that says maid of honor. Oh, here it is. Oh, I, oh, I feel like I shouldn't have just taken that out because they're all nice and packaged. But you can kind of see through, it says maid of honor. Then I've got one that says mother of the bride as well. And then we've also got <laughs> some big baggy t-shirts for the bridal party from a brand called Kaya, which actually is where my evening wedding dress is from, which did also arrive yesterday from Australia. I'm so excited to wear their dresses over there, but I can't obviously show you that. But they also do these big baggy t-shirt dresses actually, and I thought they'd be really nice for us all to wear the night before, because we were all gathering together in a separate villa from the boys the night before the wedding, and probably kind of like have some, well, not too much Prosecco because I don't want to feel any form of, you know, even after you have one glass, actually, you can feel a little bit like Ooh, the next morning. So maybe not Prosecco, maybe we'll have tea <laughs> and, ha and like play some games and just have like a wholesome night together before the wedding day. And I thought these would be really nice for everyone to wear and be like comfy and matching. <laughs> so yeah, that I think is everything I'm going to show you. 
I do also really want to get myself a wedding. Well, Bryony was telling me people wear wedding perfumes, but then we were both saying to each other, it's a bit weird because what if Niall doesn't like that scent? Like, I've always worn the same scent. This is the one I always wear, which Niall just knows me out because I've literally worn it for like seven years. It's because it's you by Armani. I like sometimes mix between the odd other one, but that is like my staple scent. And um, I think some people get like, a wedding scent so that it reminds them whenever they wear it for special occasions of the wedding day which is a really nice idea so I might do it but I need to have a look for one and sniff some out <laughs> that sounds really weird um and then also I need to get myself some wedding earrings that's the other thing I literally have not got because I'm debating between like a little hoop with a drop sort of something or Basically, I've seen these really, really cute little butterfly earrings from Adina Jewels, which is where I get a lot of my jewellery from, which I might order. I'm going to pop them on screen, actually. And um, I was thinking about getting them, but I don't know. And then also underwear for the night time. <laughs> okay, so this is the House of CB bikini. Do you know what? This is the first time I think I've ever put on bottoms that are a size small and they're just too big. I actually think I need an extra small in the bottoms. So if you do order from House of CB, their bikini bo 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 <laughs> their bikini bottoms come up quite big. I also don't usually wear these bikini bottoms that are really like ruched at the front. I've said this before. <laughs> I think last year I was talking about how they remind me of like sumo wrestlers slash the BFG giants. <laughs> I just feel like they look really weird on me, but I do think it is really cute. But I don't know if it's that special, so I don't know. It's not really doing anything for the boobs. <laughs> not that I have many, but it's not doing much. So maybe I'll just send it back. I feel like we might need to look again. Hi guys, We're back on the train again. Niall's busy doing some editing. So real. Are you editing yesterday's reel? He's editing the reel from yesterday that he made. We just had a kerfuffle running to the train. <laughs> I felt so unfit, I just couldn't keep up because of my tiredness from the head do. But we made it, we're on route to London for our honeymoon jabs. So basically because we're going to Kenya and Zanzibar, we need to get the yellow fever vaccine and malaria tablets, I think. Um, but it's weird because until the COVID jab, I've never ever had a vaccine in my life. Even when I was a baby, my mum just never ever gave me any vaccines. Oh, oh, wrong dog. <laughs> but um, yeah, this is like my second type of jab ever, so I'm a little bit nervous. I'm hoping Niall can come in and hold my hand, because I actually, actually want you to too. Yeah. Is that okay? Yeah, I might need my hand. I'll hold yours too. But yeah, that's what we're doing, and then I'm actually heading off to... Aren't they quite big needles? Don't tell me that. and then I'm actually going to head off to a Beyond meeting because we have like our monthly big team meetings so I'm going to go and... Did you not know I was doing that? You're heading back alone. You can come too if you want. <clears throat> Discuss Beyond. I think we're going to be discussing because we're going to do a big guides drop um, when I come back from my honeymoon with like a big challenge so we're going to plan that out and also I'm planning out like a little deload three week guide to launch like after my wedding before that so we're going to plan that and then the next like six months is like any new features we want to add in and stuff so that will be good and productive but that's what we're doing Good easy for our guys look Niall made these coronation chicken. Is it coronation chicken? No, so these are like, I made coronation chicken ones, but these are more like chicken tikka. Oh, my fave. Yeah. But he made these and then they got absolutely smushed in my bag while we were running for the train. <laughs> we had one minute to spare, so it was a little bit of a, a moment. But they'll still, they tasted great. We had these on the train yesterday. It's like deja vu. But I'm going to join Niall with some editing now, I think, because I actually have a reel to edit too. Good plan. 
Oops, give me a spoke. Everybody's obsessed with this, and that's why I did everywhere I go. People are like, can I have some? Like, it's literally water. <laughs> also, guys, how cool is this new Charlotte Tilbury palette? Let me see if I can get in. Oh, I can't get in. So I actually take this with me most of the time when I go out now because it's so handy. Because you don't have to carry around much makeup because this one's highlighter. This one's like lipstick, but you can also use it on your cheeks. So it's kind of like a pinch pop. And this one's eyeshadow. I just thought to myself, you know what? I didn't put highlighter on. But you know what? I've got it in my bag. It's just so much easier than like taking out loads of makeup. I took this out from the Hendu in my handbag. And it was just really, really handy to kind of top up in the toilets in the night. A little bit of the schnoz. Done! <laughs> Done. How did you find it? <laughs> oh, no, don't do that. I, I find them so freaky after you've had a vaccine. It, it, it's a weird concept, isn't it? But it is. They know what they're doing. It's, yeah. This is not, it's not like the COVID vaccine. There's a lot of controversy around the COVID vaccine, obviously, isn't there? People yeah, trust but let's it, not don't. go into that. No, no, but I'm just saying this is like, this has been around for years and years. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. Totally yeah, but done. It was fine. And we're ready to see elephants. That's see like my, the elephant. The I'm excited. I'm going on a honeymoon. Who knows what film this is from? The elephants. The elephants. <laughs> oh, can see the elephants. Oh God, what's that from? Nothing that you've seen. A film that you won't watch with me. Like. Oh, it sounds like it's from. Um, oh, okay. I thought it was like a Madagascar. It sounded like. No. I'm excited. I've I'm never going been to, to Africa. Africa. I'm buzzing to go well. And I'm ready to see a lion. Your camera's so dirty. I know, it's dusty we look inside. Like we're down the road. <laughs> no, I'm really I'll excited. Niall's really excited to hopefully hear a lion roar, aren't you? That's what you keep saying. It's like I wanna hear um, it. I wanna hear it first hand. Apparently like the, the the ground like shakes around you. Does like, it? Well, it's like vibrations. So, like, my dad said that anyway in the zoo, but in the zoo. he went to the zoo. <laughs> I'm so excited. I feel so. I just can't believe we're doing it. Me new. Me, me new. <laughs> me new. <laughs> it does feel like a really big thing for everyone to get involved with. End of September, beginning of October, sort of each of uh, the campaigns. Good evening, everyone. I have just arrived home from my day out. I was, I don't know what's wrong with me. I don't know whether it's the vaccine or the hen do being two days ago and having not much sleep slash the time of my life. <laughs> or, actually I don't know about any of you, but do you have this, like after you've had a really social event, your like battery is just gone for a while. <laughs> That's me. Or I'm on my period and TMI. I'm sure it's happened to many of us, but I leaked. <laughs> oh, I don't know what it is, I think it's a mix of both. So like I was sat in that meeting for beyond literally looking at people trying to focus, but I was just like, there's nothing left. <laughs> the Ian Beale quote is upon us again. So I think what I'm gonna do is try and have an early night, run myself a bath, have some dinner, and just be zen. I'm actually going to spend tomorrow just at my computer. I'm, I'm not going to go anywhere. <laughs> I'm going to sort out some wedmen, some honeymoon men. I also need to edit this vlog. I need to actually write the deload three week mini guide for Beyond. And I also need to sign off some collections for Bluey because we have our September and October and Black Friday drops to like finalise. But anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna run myself a bath and um, oh, do you know what? My boob tape, my boob tape, <laughs> my boob tape arrived, the double-sided one. I ordered this off Amazon last night at midnight, same day delivery. Literally never get my head around that when that happens. But um, I think what I'm gonna have to do is test this before the wedding dress, because <laughs> me and Bridie were joking that imagine I was walking down the aisle and a nipple was out. And <laughs> Bradley was like, I'm sorry, I would just have to run down the aisle and cover you up while you were doing the walk with your dad because we couldn't be having that. You've got one shot. <laughs> you don't want to do it with nipple. Um, so I definitely need to test that because I've never used this tube tape. But it looks promising. <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to run myself a bath. 
I also picked myself one of these up from M&S. These are a new favourite. If you've never tried them, try. They're really good. They don't have that proteiny, you know, horrible taste, but they also aren't like overly sweet, which I really like personally. So I'm gonna have that while I'm sat in the bath and maybe watch a little bit of, um, Ooh, what am I gonna watch? What shall I watch? What am I behind on? I'm behind on EastEnders, all the Kardashians. I might watch that as well, because I'm quite into it. And I think I'm gonna do a hair mask, a face mask, and scrub my tan off, because we still have Hindu tan on. So, I'm thinking I'm going to be doing this Kevin Murphy one, I think. This is the Kevin Murphy Young Again mask. And I'm going to do this face mask, the Beauty Sleep Lush one, it's my favourite. I actually bought this new shower gel from Lush, which I tried this morning, which is really good. I've never seen a sticky date Lush shower gel. Good choice, hun. You're a sticky date. <laughs> oh, you've got to show them your ring, I showed them mine earlier. This is the real deal, so... Does it fit, this one? Yeah, you see, it's much better. Went down half size there. So I've just, I'm quite hot still, I've just come from the gym and it's still a little bit of wiggle room. Look at that, very stylish, not too old school, bit modern. Pretty new school, eh? But nice and like fashionable. Oh, thank you. Looks lovely. Ooh, nice anyway, <laughs> I'm gonna run myself a bath. <laughs> because I feel a bit delirious. And um, I am gonna finish this vlog here because you're coming in the bath too. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog, a little bit random. I will hopefully see my next video. Last vlog before the wedding. We actually have some really fun things happening. Next week is rammed, so I'm gonna bring you on my week and take you along on some fun things ready for the wedding again. But. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're all okay. And I will hopefully see you very soon in another video. Oh, you're so cute. Bluebell, should we cuddle on the sofa tonight all evening? We haven't done that in so long, have we? Oh my God, she looks so cute. No, don't you think she looks really pretty when her nose is wet? <laughs> else finds that with their dog but when I don't know they just look really healthy when their nose is wet and they're looking happy I just feel like she looks extra pretty you gorgeous girl aren't you gorgeous gorgeous